G'day, today I'm going to play a, a little bit of a different game. Uh, this one's called Build and Grow. Um, the the maker of this game actually um, sent me a message and said that he thought that I might enjoy this in uh, in my style. Um, so I thought, why not? Let's uh, let's play something a little bit different. So um, I've had a little bit of a look at this one, and I'm going to limit the map just so that this doesn't sort of run on forever. But I'd say this is very similar to um, Islanders and very Dorth Romantic in in that sort of style. Um, so the way that we're going to operate here is we basically just build our city. Uh, similar to, to Island, as you can see down here, we've got a score that we've got to try and hit. Uh, and each time we place something, the all the squares, uh, the sort of eight squares around it, um, do impact uh, the, the points that we're getting for that build. What was that? A fire watch. So we want him somewhere where he can get some points. One thing I do uh, do find kind of neat uh, from the get-go uh, I do like is that when you do build a little settlement they do get a title as well so this this town is already named uh, so we've put enough together there. Doesn't look like we're going to do well placed now farm so let's go for a sawmill. Seven. Now, the, the game will run basically to a point where you run out of space. Uh, uh, but the other thing that you can do is knock out blocks. So if we say knock out those trees, we can put a sawmill in there. A few extra points, and that's enough to, to allow us to expand. So with that expansion, what we can do, now just build out and out. And then that'll allow us to Continue on our build. So there's a few different things that we can um, make with these guys. So we've got some seaports. Uh, we've got our houses, and you can see that when we uh, when we have a house connected to a few different things, they do sort of build up differently. It's quite neat. Um, and I think most importantly, it is. Uh, just that style of game that if you, um, from, from what I've played, I wouldn't necessarily call it a, a challenging game. I think it is just sort of an enjoyable uh, game to, to wind down to. What I might do is my other hammer. You can see I also have to earn my hammers. So I'm going to be that much anyway. Um, try and get our builds a bit better. Now, there isn't too much in the way of points that we're gaining down here. We actually might be quite close to our uh, score mark here, so we do have to play a little bit of strategy. This. Now, if I was to delete something that was in a good spot, I would lose the points I've gained for it as well, so um, not necessarily the most um, strategic of moves to, uh, to knock it off. And you can see out here, this is those boundaries that I've drawn for myself. Um, I was saying it was 15 by 15. See how well we can build within that, that sort of space. Sometimes you've got to sort of, I guess, spend a few less points just to expand out a bit. Now these farms aren't overly going to like anything this stage, so we'll just take a zero for one just to, to really clear it out. But now we can start to get crops uh, that will benefit the growing of it as well. Put our second town up there, and you can set up a map if you're curious about how your towns sort of break out. They definitely look very scattered at the moment. They seem to make a, a good argument to get rid of those trees there. A nice <coughs> big house there in the middle. Uh, and we can you on. I think our main goal here is going to be to see if we can hit those borders. There we go, another four. Now I assume that's going to, there we go, so that's our side limit hit there. When building out, I think it does make sense to go sort of one way and then the other to square out because that's going to give you another extra line at the top each time you are, each time you do do that.
Okay, so our monuments seem to like... Is it a park? I think they like the parks more than they like the houses. Um, there's no... I haven't not really had that too many parks in this one. Uh, so definitely still just working on... A good, a real good spot for those monuments. Now the fire watches as well. We've got to have amongst the trees, and we can work on our um our town here. And I do like how the town name does shift as the population sort of shifts, uh, shifts as well. Okay. Only getting one for those. It's not it's still not overly worthwhile. So we're getting the farm, but I'm not even sure they're gonna play too well. So let's go just enough to allow us to have our next four areas. Extend out maybe further this way with our houses. Another fire watch, so let's sneak him up there. Getting down here sixes. Take the six. Seven will be nice for the far uh, for the park. Eight down here. Get our crops going at the top. I kind of feel like we should use one of our hammers to knock out that set of trees there. Seaport. We haven't had too many of these. Not sure there's too much. Oh, it's not too bad. Alright, we'll place a seaport over, port over that farm. I mean, essentially all that seaport's going to do is travel from this seaport to the to the other. That's okay. The game's not going to penalise me for that. Okay. Get another house down here. Some more crops up there. Yeah, let's just continue to I think, have all our farms. Our farms don't seem to be overly happy for anything other than um, there we go, we went our farms now named Rumi Fields. Um, they don't seem to be happy for anything other than just sort of more crops, so we may as well have them all dashed on top of each other. We do have four more we can add to. Have us at our maximum eyes there. Now we're almost best off I think just trying to start a new town so I'm just going to put him all the way up here. Let's get another town and they can have a seaport. Two seaports. Build a little collection of parks to then have that guy benefit. Three, two there, so really not too well there. That's not too bad. Even though the farms don't mind the monuments either, so they're quite a good buffer between the farms and the um the cities. Interesting that oh I do like that the um the seaports aren't happy if there's nothing near them. Actually will be a better um just double checks, make sure that everyone's side limits. Again, I think he's gonna have to be separated. Oh, 
more spots at fire watchers will be happy cool we do have some mines around take that uh what have we got some monuments three up there will be probably plenty And let's just roll in some. Crops down the bottom. How about we... We got two there. Not really much else anywhere else for that mine. Oh, there's mine down here. Possibly knocking that out, putting it in there would be the way to go. And then any other house isn't going to be happy to be in the vicinity of him. Look at those trees. Take four. The sawmill. What does the sawmill like? Oh, that's right, it likes being near the seaports. Get a few more nice value houses there. And the firewatch. I'll take one point up there, I suppose. Too much. Bury that today. Yeah, not really too much more in terms of this one, I'd say. Minus one, minus ten, we'll take this one. I'd say that's probably almost me cooked. Anything else is probably just going to be a little bit of a downer to me. The uh, farmlands of roomy place and roomy fields just can retire happy knowing that they've got some huge populations around that they can uh, they can feed. there you go so that's uh that's basically just a, a quick look at, at build and grow um yeah not too bad i think um it, you can play it where it just continues to get bigger and bigger so i think that that in terms of just a relaxing sort of just placing stuff with some with some neat music playing it's, it's quite good um not too much of a challenge at this point i would say obviously in those first two couple of rounds you've got a little bit of weave got some tricky places to, to place uh, but once you get beyond that, it's, it's um, yeah, not too too tricky. Um, but yeah, uh, fun all the same. Uh, it isn't on Steam. If you are um, if you are looking for this one and do want to have a go of it, it is on um, uh, itch.io. So itch.io, uh, and again, it was called uh, Build and Grow. So uh, there you go. Any questions or comments, feel free to chuck them below. Uh, thanks again to Lazy Fox for for chucking through a key for that one. And uh, until next time, I'll um, catch you later. See ya.